All right, so you took the time to set up a store, find a product, launch an ad, but still no sales. Well, there's a couple reasons as to why that could be. What's going on everybody? Your boy Juan Valdez back with another video and today, I'm going to be going over some key reasons as to why I believe you guys aren't making any sales for those of you guys that aren't. Boom, almost at 11K. And of course, I have a backend system in place and it's full team behind me. So that is all automated. I'm barely putting in any work into that. Uh, to kind of get started, for those of you guys that are brand new to my channel, welcome on over to the VFAM. The VFAM is a family of individuals, huge family of people that are striving to do a lot more than what society has offered us to do. And one of those things for sure is to make Shopify sales. So we'll get right into it. If you guys want to see a lot more videos like this where I'm helping you guys and showing you guys different ways, you know, that you can potentially make more sales, make you drop a like on this video and I actually want you guys to drop a comment below letting me know what you think is causing you not to get any sales just so I can have an idea to see where you know people are seem to be lacking on or they think at least that they're lacking on so I can see you know what other videos I should make to give you guys the most value so make sure you drop a comment on what you think is keeping you back from making sales below and of course if you haven't already make sure you join the VFAM hit that subscribe button and of course if you haven't already make sure you join the VFAM hit that subscribe button and we'll get right into it one of the main things when first getting started because I talk to a lot of people you know on social media obviously on YouTube I talk to you guys and I also talk to obviously other people that message me on Instagram and Snapchat Facebook and email and one of the things that I see is that people give up way too fast right and I know a lot of people may have said that before like you're giving up way too fast but in reality like you guys are right when you think about any new opportunity if you think about let's say a job right and even when you first start you're not doing the best but it takes time to learn what it takes to kind of do good at, at the position in the job that you have so of course just like anything else starting anything new isn't gonna be a walk around the park that's just you know not how things work that's just you know, whenever we have to encounter something that's new and also has a huge reward, like obviously making money and like a lot of money, it's not going to be easy. So it's not a walk around the park. So you can't come into e-commerce and think like, hey, I'm going to set up my store. I'm going to pick a product, launch an ad, and then boom, like I'm going to have tons of sales coming in. That's not how it works, right? There's a process to it. And if it was that easy, again, everybody would do it. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of history about me and how, it, how everything has built up up to place. So when I first got started, I had to wipe my, my whole first store that I had spent three to four days in a little booth in Panera Bread and that's what it took because when I first set up that store it wasn't generating any sales I had terrible products again because I chose products that I, that I like you know the store just wasn't put together correctly like I didn't wasn't using the best image there's a lot of things that wasn't done right so it was a terrible looking store again you're going through a learning curve so you're not giving up if I would have gave up after my first store I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in now so just to give you guys an idea if you know if your first store failed or you aren't getting results be patient it's it's coming you know you just have to learn how it all works even i see some people say like hey i tested this ad you know i didn't get any sales i spent like 50 bucks total and i didn't get any sales i think i'm gonna quit why would you quit after 50 bucks you know that's just not realistic right because it, it's not likely you're gonna see results after just spending 50 bucks before we even broke even uh we were negative a good amount because obviously when we first got started with e-commerce and dropshipping when i mean we i actually got started with my business partner samir you know we weren't even profitable at first because we didn't know how to price our products we didn't know things about ads and a whole lot more so you know we were advertising spending money and we had advertised a ton before we even made our first sale so before we even made our first sale we were already negative right so i see some people that come on here and say like hey i made my first few sales but now they suddenly stop well for those of you guys that made your few first few sales on your first ad or your first inf instagram influencer you're already ahead of me so you're in good hands you know stay positive that's one of the main things i see that a lot of people just giving up way too fast you got to stay consistent you have to learn how it all works and really be patient for it to work, right? It's not like you're learning uh, an invaluable skill. The reason why you wanna be patient and you wanna take the time to you know, obviously be consistent with this business is because you're learning very valuable skills. You're not just learning a, a skill that's not gonna make you money. This is a, a skill that will make you money for life. Literally the skills of running an e-commerce business. A lot of you guys have potential. I see a lot of people that have really good stores, they have really good ads, but there's just something missing that kind of keeps them back. So I'm gonna get into that right now, but I just wanted to make sure I covered that. Running a dropshipping business is a lot more than just setting up a store, finding a product and launching an ad, right? There's certain things that go into play between all the parts of the business and there's different parts of it. So one of the first parts is you wanna make sure you learn all the things that go into having a store that actually converts, right? You wanna make sure you're using the best images right off the back, right? So those are the things you wanna make sure you look out for because one of the biggest things that I see when I see some of you guys comment the name of your stores on the video 
videos or message me saying like, hey, check out my store, is that I see a lot of people not using the best images. That's a simple mistake that you guys can cha change to automatically increase the chance of you making a sale, right? Because people buy off what they see in images. So make sure you have good images. Of course, make sure that you guys learn all the cognitive biases. I did a key takeaway on the book Influence. It's a great book, you guys should check it out. Make sure you guys are using these specific things that make people wanna buy, right? Make sure you're doing that because that's huge. I see a lot of people not doing that. So you wanna make sure when it comes down to, you know, having a store that actually converts, you guys are learning these specific things and you're putting it into place because if not, it will keep you back from making sales, proven fact. You wanna make sure next, you learn how to do product research correctly. You wanna make sure you have a process in place. So for me, you need to have a product research process in place. One of the most important things in an e-commerce business is product research. And the reason why is because to really be successful with an e-commerce, you don't even need 100 products. When we had some of our biggest months, when we did over 200K, that month was based mainly off of one product. Like literally 80% of the total revenue that we produced was one product. The rest was all the other products that we had in our stores. So if it only takes one or two products to really crush it and make six figures a month, why wouldn't you want to have a process in place for product research, right? A nice and narrow and precise process for it. So if you guys don't know how to do any product research, make sure you check out one of my, my previous videos that I have on product research to kind of learn how I do it. Then literally the same strategy has helped me find numerous of products. So you know, you wanna make sure you have this in place because if you don't, if you don't have a solid product research process and you're just kind of picking random products in the air, you're gonna waste a lot of money and of course, you know, nothing is more discouraging than consistently wasting money and seeing no results. I'm here to help you guys get results, so that's why I'm sharing this with you guys. The next part is you wanna make sure how to drive traffic effectively. And there's a lot of things that go into play. This is important because if you drive traffic from a Facebook fan page that you know has no content, has no likes on it, and nobody is really engaged with it, how do you think people are gonna react? People like going on Facebook fan pages and seeing that other yeah, has content, seeing that other people have liked it. People like doing things that they see other people do, right? That means if they see other people engage in your Facebook fan page, if they see you have likes on your fan page, you have, on your fan page, if they see you have content on there, and other people are involved in that community, they're gonna feel more comfortable buying. Small things like having a fan page that's set up correctly and has content, has likes, that is super important. We've tested this time after time and we do a whole lot better when we have a fan page that actually has some likes on it, has content and a whole lot more when we're advertising than when we don't. Once you start testing products, you definitely wanna have your social medias built because people check your social media platforms. They check your Instagram for sure. They definitely check your Facebook pages. You wanna make sure for sure you, you're starting to build up your, your social media platforms because that's what's gonna transition into you know, the brand building and really make you stand out from a lot of other people. People know that a lot of the drop shipping stores and the non-legit websites don't have any social media platforms. They don't, they aren't as legit. And obviously you wanna make sure you look as legit as possible. And one of those things is for sure having social media platforms you know, established. So you wanna make sure you guys are doing that. This is a lot more advanced, but you wanna make sure you also have a backend system in place. This is gonna be for a lot more of you guys that are advanced watching. You wanna make sure that what I mean by backend system, because I don't know if all you guys, that I talk about the backend a lot because that's my main focus. That's where we generate a ton of money from um, is really having a solid backend system in place. But when it comes to backend system, I mean having upsells and downsells in place. So whenever a customer comes in, they buy one product, they get a similar product, a one-time offer for that's usually more expensive. They can get that. If they don't want that, then you then offer them a, another similar product that's a lot less, a lot cheaper. And again, it's for a one-time offer. And then if they don't want that, okay, that's fine. Usually having those in place, you're very likely to increase your average order value, which average order value is just every time a customer comes in, you know, having them leave with more than just the one item that they saw on the ad. So making sure you have those in place, making sure you have email marketing, making sure you have emails going out for different people, like repeat customers, people that don't check out, uh, people that haven't bought from you in a while and a whole lot more. You wanna make sure you're emailing your customers and your email list and also retargeting. Retargeting is huge because again, it's another contact you're making with you know potential customers, right? You're reminding the customer of the product that they showed interest in at one time. So just to give you guys a bigger picture, when it comes down to e-commerce, it's a lot bigger having a store, putting a product, running an ad and all that, right? That's not how it works. People that are selling people on you know, that, that it's that simple, like that's not accurate. It does take some work and it takes all these different things. You have to have everything in place. You can't have really good ad, but a shitty website, that's not gonna work. And you can't have 
a really good website and a shitty ad. Like everything has to be congruent. So I know I've talked about this a little bit before, but I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of some things to look out for as to why you're not making sales. If you guys picked up a thing or two from this video, I'd appreciate it if you guys dropped a like on the video, of course. And again, let me know what things you guys believe or you guys seem to be struggling with that can be keeping you back from making sales. Drop it in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you smash that subscribe button, join the V fam, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.